Welcome, you're watching Salico Life News Capsule. Apparel exports hit an all-time high in June with earnings of 537 million US dollars, the highest ever for any month. Exports for the first half of this year rose 20% to 2.8 billion US dollars. The industry continues to be a lifeline for Sri Lanka's economy. But most recently, media reports have been quoting a significant increase of as much as 30% of apparel industry workers turning to the sex trade for fear of being laid off. Given that the industry has always maintained a high level of compliance in human rights, labor laws and compliance asks of especially the US, the EU and the rest of the West, I invited the Secretary General of the Joint Apparel Association Forum, Johan Lawrence, into the studio for a brief chat. Johan, so is there any reasoning for these women to fear that they will lose their jobs? Absolutely not. There is work, the factory, factories are full, factories are expanding. And right now, there is no question of companies laying off people. So it's a bit of an unfounded threat. So this 30% increase of women going into the sex trade, um, how would this impact the, the, the industry in general, given that the EU, uh, the US and the West specifically, are very strong on compliance? This is not, not new. This sex trade has been around as, you know, for years and years. Uh, what the industry has done over the years is they've moved away from the FTZs, particularly Katunayaka, in the sort of 70s and 80s when firms were setting up, Katunayaka was the place to be and we had large numbers of people employed. Unfortunately, places like Katunayaka also come with the fact that people have to move away from home, they have economic hardships and it becomes difficult. So this is why over the years the industry has moved away from the free trade zones, Katunayaka in particular and located their factories in areas close, in, in remote villages where people can stay at home, they can travel short distances, they don't have to have the costs of boarding, and at the end of the day they can go home so they are more secure. So this move away from free trade zones has really taken the pressure away in terms of our own employees because they are protected, they are safe because they are working from home. The same would happen even in terms of the SME factories, the smaller factories. They were probably never inside the zones. They tend to be, again, located close to, you know, smaller towns, remote, remote locations. So in that sense, we see that all we can do is to make sure that we provide a safe working environment, that we look after people, and that we give them the best opportunities to earn uh, economic to conduct their economic activity in the formal sector, thereby getting the benefits of EPF, CTFs, gratuities, all of these things. So all, that's all that we can do is to make sure we create that enabling environment for our employees. If you like Kaleidoscope, subscribe and follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. We are here to better your lives and champion your every goal. With 12 billion rupees worth of customer benefits in 2020 and a life insurance fund worth over 100 billion rupees, our strength is your strength. You focus on your goals. We will take care of the risks. Selenko Life.